afternoon to you, David. Afternoon, Matt, and afternoon, everybody. So, we've got to start with what's been happening over the last 24 hours, fevered speculation. Um, first of all, your, your take on goings-on yesterday, the announcement we heard from Burnley, the one we heard from yourselves, a statement saying you'd fight tooth and nail to keep the manager, and then a lot of speculation through the day, right up to Paul Lambert then releasing statements saying he's staying. Just talk us through that, will you please? We had uh, an official approach from Burnley on Thursday evening. Um, it was uh, out of office hours, as it were. I was called back into the office um, around about 9.30 p.m. I was alerted to the facts, came and had a look at it. Um, we have, uh, we are non-trading PLC, as you know, so there are other board directors that I need to uh, make aware of any significant event. Um, clearly need to make Paul aware too, so I was going through the process uh, of doing that, and then I was alerted by Joe Ferrari, head of media, that um, Burnley, for some bizarre, uh, very difficult to explain reason, decided to put it on their website that they'd um, asked for permission to speak to Paul about their vacancy. Um, so that really uh, was unusual, unexpected, and I have to say unprofessional of them. And it meant that we had to get something out to say that uh, we would absolutely make certain that um, uh, Paul Lambert stayed as manager of, uh, of Norwich City, and he certainly was not going to Burnley. Uh, there was no question of that. Um, we issued our statement pretty late on Thursday. Friday morning, um, obviously overnight, this, in this new world of media, there's uh, lots of speculation about why Burnley had put it on their website and lots of Machiavellian conspiracy theories and the like. And so we, we had a chat, I had a chat to Paul um, before the press conference on Friday morning. Um, as always, as, as everybody know, now knows, Paul is the most professional football managers. His focus prior to any training session is that session and his focus on the eve of any game is that game and that's all he was prepared to worry about and absolutely rightly so which I'm sure all Canary fans will, uh, will endorse. Um, he was very happy as he said at the press conference with the lines that the club came out with and if you listen back to the recording he said so uh, and uh, quite rightly he wanted them to use the um, 15, 20 minutes of the press conference to talk about all things late and orient in this very important match that we have today um, and uh, did not want to focus on needless speculation about a, a club he was not about to go and join. So quite rightly he avoided that. Um, the, the rest of the day is history. Um, some of the rumours were just um, well, beggar's belief about you know he's resigned here and he's resigned there and um, you know, there were staff meeting calls all over the place. I mean, it was a very controlled day as far as the football club was concerned. And um, quite rightly, we we, um, uh, we find that late yesterday evening, given that the frenzy of me, uh, unnecessary speculation, Paul put the line out that he did, um, spoke to the media yesterday evening, and hopefully that's drawn an episode under um, what, quite frankly, was something that could have been avoided. Just bringing you back, though, Chief Executive, to what happened yesterday morning. Nine o'clock, press conference, yet yeah, 15 or 20 minutes to talk about the game. It, it would have only taken 30 seconds, though, for the manager to say, no, I'm staying, and that's it. That's all I'm saying. I'm staying. Well, that, Matt, he said, um, he said, I'm very happy with the, what the club has put out. And the club, club said that we're rejecting their request to speak to Paul. There was absolutely no way that we would agree to that. He, he wasn't ever going to Burnley. And... Um, we would fight tooth and nail to keep Paul Lambert if Barcelona had requested permission. So I promise you that. Um, so he was never, ever, ever going to a, a small club, or a much smaller club than ours. Uh, why would he when he's got um, such backing at this fantastic, great football club? Now, one thing that a lot of fans are saying is, yeah, the manager just kept it on tent hooks all day with the express um, hope that, that he could renegotiate his contracts. There's always talk of contracts in football. Uh, was that the case? Is there a new deal on the table for Paul look, Lambert? Look, the facts of the matter are Paul wanted to concentrate on preparing his team for this very important game today. Um, and as ever, Paul Lambert will prepare this team to win the game today. As we know, because this is an art form, not a science, there's no guarantee that we win the game, but um, we don't have the best of records in the third round. And 
I'm aware of that, Paul's aware of that, everybody at the football club is. So it's a really important game, we need to win it, and Paul's focused on that. Um, if any senior employee of the football club has a new contract agreed, uh, we promise that we'll announce um, the, 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 that, the particular news to the supporters, the supporters deserve that. And um, when I talk about senior employees, Paul Lambert is the most important person at the football club. And so if we have ever negotiated a, a new deal for Paul, um, then we'd announce that to the supporters. Uh, you know, we, we, uh, we, we um, uh, did new improved contracts for Paul and his team last spring, and there's been no change from that to this day. Has he managed to get extra budget uh, for new players out of you, though, for this January? Well, it's interesting, isn't it? We, we um, is it, you know, with all the speculation, uh, some of the conspiracy theories going on, you know, I think it's important to re reflect on what we've got. We've got a great manager, we've got a great squad of players who've put the club into third place in the, uh, in the championship, um, playing a nice style of football. Uh, let's not forget we were 67th or 68th in the pyramid about 16, 17 months ago. So under Paul's, Paul's leadership and uh, with, with some great skill and a lot of effort, we've progressed in a short space of time um, from there to 23rd in the football league pyramid. Um, the, we, what else have we got? We're under no pressure to sell any of our players, so they can offer all they want for Holt, Houlihan. At all. They're not going anywhere. Uh, they're our players. They've been put part of the squad. And I can absolutely assure you that we have money to spend in January. Whilst it's not millions and millions and millions, it's enough for us to do what we need to do. Um, and our budget for, for January has not changed one penny from when we agreed it with Paul and the rest of the board uh, during the last calendar year. Not one penny. It was a strange day yesterday, and, and you branded Burnley as being unprofessional in, in what they did with their statement. Are you expecting more cases of this in the future, of this, this team carry on near the top of the table? Well, look, we're in, a, we're in a, a very unusual industry in football, aren't we? It's a dynamic industry, and it's, uh, it's volatile at the best of times. And somebody was telling me yesterday, I think, that Paul Lambert is the eighth longest serving manager in the championship. And Paul's been with us, what, 17 months? So that suggests that in our industry, I think the, uh, the business gurus would talk about churn, and we have a, we have a high level of churn. Um, the other thing to say in, in, in football is that um, I think it's fair to say that in previous times, this club's had to deal with perhaps having managers that it wanted perhaps to move away from the football club. Um, and in this industry, ironically, you, you've either got managers who are struggling to to keep their jobs or as it, in our case um, we have a man manager who many many football clubs would love to have at their, at their place and uh, it's a quality problem to have. Just one more thing, uh, you mentioned Wes Houlihan uh, and his contract will, will run out um, in the next few months so is there any new deal on the table for him? I think, um, I think the manager may have uh, a few comments about Wes after the game. We're trying to concentrate really on today's game. Um, uh, without uh, uh, bringing any, any, uh, anything else into, it, into the mix with our players because Wes is playing tonight as you, as you, as you can see so uh, I think Paul will have a few things to say about Wes hopefully after the game we well, enjoy the day, FA Cup third round we didn't make it last year did we for Norwich so, uh, we didn't, we, we got to the second round didn't we and it was, uh, yeah, that, was a, that was a long drive back from Carlisle wasn't it David McNally thank you for talking to us thanks Matt Chief Executive of Norwich City Football Club on the uh, Paul Lambert situation, which hopefully has been put to bed now, and uh, also on uh, the hope that, uh, well, just a, a hint there maybe, that there may be a few more words on Wes Houlihan later in the day. He is in the team this afternoon, isn't he, Chris? Just run through the rest of the side in the FA Cup for us. Uh, have Norwich gone for a week inside um, today? No, I wouldn't say so. There's one or two players that have been rested, I would say. It's, it, it's not perhaps the same team that Paul Lambert would have picked if it had been a, a, a league game today. Um, but it, it is still a, a very strong outfit, just on Houlihan, there are some reports